He comes and goes without leaving a trace, only appearing oh, at him. the most critical moments. It's He's highly dude. knowledgeable. And he likes to share his observations it's the pointy with guy. <laughs> Speedster. She has a cold oh. and stern exterior, and her spotless battle record has earned her oh. renown throughout. Are they going to be hosting? She is an ah. unusual looking Melusine with an equally <laughs> unique perspective on the world. <laughs> now, okay. The voice actors have all gathered here today to deliver the version 4.7 special program. Yeah. 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 Hey. I can't believe we're actually all here. <laughs> oh, Hello, oh, Hatham's travelers. voice sounds crisp. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, Hello. our hosts for the special program include... Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. Wait, wait, wait it's Yuri. L what? Character intro videos. I never realized it was Spider-Man. on y'all. And I'm Sarah Williams, the voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede. He's Spider-Man. He's Spider-Man. Spider keeping everybody all healthy Sp and nice. Spider-Man. Making sure everybody <laughs> feels good. And hey everyone, I'm Crystal Lee, the voice of Fontaine's champion duelist, Clorand. Pew pew pew, let's get it. All right, nice. So we've got a traveler, Very good pew a man of mystery, a duelist, and a healer. I think it's the perfect adventuring party. Mm -hmm. Huh, uh, what a wild coincidence, you guys. I just received an <laughs> invitational letter to a new domain. <laughs> wow. Yeah, imagine that. Gee, Willikers, where did that come That's from? That's just destiny. Where did yeah, that come from? Definitely. You know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Yo! Ooh, Traveler, Paimon. Would you join us and play Mar Chaussee Hunter Judgment Day? The what? Hmm? This script <laughs> play is adapted the what? from the real history of the Maro Chaussee Hunters. You all okay. play the role of hunters from a bygone Woo. era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. You gotta get rid of those subtitles. That's very distracting. Why are they so big? I don't know. Many of my habits get are it? customs I've adopted from the Mara Chaussee Hunter tradition. They fall You're against a monsters. Offer? My life Whoa. against lawbreakers. Okay, Kelly Trill. So when I draw my blade, I am but a cool sword. sword is so cool. Oh! Oh, okay. It is a part of her basics, but her ability. Oh, just do wielding. Hello. Is that her Madam ultimate? Mage says that I'm a oh, oh, storybook you're so cute. statement of the present. It's so vast and mysterious. Oh, oh. must be oh, says those. A story behind this. Ah, place. showing him off. So, I'll explore this place with you to the end. I like the Let's voice never actor. Stop hoping for victory. Got a little thing next to him. Way ahead of you. Oh, cool. Ooh. Piercing. Ooh. Oh, oh power whoa. basics. Whoa. That's cool. Of course. That's a big needle. Oh, Aren't you that is going into Just someone? She's adorable and scary at the same time. Yes! Oh. Big! She went Dr. Oh, Mario! Bubble. Oh! Bubble gun? Bubble gun. Oh, bubble. Oh, 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 bubble gun. Oh, that's good be. Don't be nervous. Just oh! Relax. <laughs> I thought. A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. What? You don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? Not at all. I don't or believe you're a sociopath. would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell um, to the shrouded sun. That's fine. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering or try to differentiate nice between effects. various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was mm -hmm. the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Oh, more hilly trail lore. Great. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Ooh, Mara boss? Chose hunter. You used oh. it yourself, didn't you? What? That's why you have a human appearance. That's Are we getting like multiple? What? But I believe that Yo, what was that? One walking into a trap. Oh, <gasps> one day. The sword. I shall have my vengeance. The sword. That way. Yo. Because that's one of the golem guys. His own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. All right. <laughs> Traveler, let me ask you this. Whoa. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Oh! Oh! Great. Also, what? 
That's very cute, Iwerk. But also, Cinder, what? What are you doing? Sorry, our 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 adorable cat is getting in trouble. Um, that looks amazing. I don't. I'm assuming we're getting multiple quests, so we're gonna get an Archon quest and probably character story quests. I'm assuming. Looks like because it. it looked like multiple plot points, right? Mm, so there was Chloran's. Uh, I mean, not Chloran. Chloran will probably be a part of the main thing. Hers is probably the main thing, considering that they were talking about how the guy standing there looked like a real hunter, and that was Dane's leaf. So I assume that's a part of the main quest. Unless they just did editing trickery, and it's actually like three different quests. Maybe then they showed off the like fun toy domain thing. And no. Sethos has his quest going on right now in the game, so he does. I don't think he'll get anything. He's just gonna be playable uh, and now. And then there was the medic girl quest line of people yes. getting sick, and that involving, I'm assuming, giant needles. Giant needles. But I assume <laughs> that's the cutscene involving the big statue music. Pro thing. Probably, yeah. Isn't it safe? No. Oh, nye. Nye, nye, nye. oh you're, you you just armored your arm up. <laughs> the cat can't scratch or bite me. Oh, she's, a, she's trying to. She's sure. She, you're gonna chew your arm off as if it were just some kind of drumstick. Ow, why? She's back on me. No. 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 You're right. Good morning. Good morning. Oh wait, Dale, can this you pull your very arm? awkward. I can cannot. You, can Her you? nails are in it. Oh what? Her nails are in my sleeve. I oh, cannot. pull your sleeve. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it looks like our first mission is here. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble your team. Oh, I get it. Our first mission is to introduce the new characters. All Please right, do. this is getting exciting. Dude, yes. All right, then. Well, how, how do they work? Start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Clorand. You would say that. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> In my role as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. Ooh. For when I draw my blade, That's a very I am sick sword. an instrument of Fontaine's law. You know, I find it funny, though, that you're mainly going to be probably shooting. Most likely. <laughs> So does it like empower her base? Ooh. Yeah, that's just empowered basics. I think, right? Unless it's spam like E. That is a nice that, ultimate. That burst is sick. Whoa. Very quick. Which I dig, I dig. Very quick, but very cinematic. That is so cool. Clarence's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Mara Chose Hunters. Ooh. How does that the work? Hunters from the artifact set. Mm hmm. The Mara Shosei Hunters were an organization that defeated oh, that's monsters crit set, and yeah. upheld justice that's... from the shadows. Right? I think the think group's so. name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical records. Exactly. The Mara Shosei Hunters have a long history. It's gonna nod to my head. <laughs> I understand everything you're talking about. Legend mm -hmm. from novels and plays, but for Claran, the Mara Shosei Hunters' legacy is really real. If travelers want to learn more She's about the Mara like Hunters, hunter. then be sure to check out Claran's story quest in the new version. I want to learn more about the Marsha Say Hunters. Perfect. Then let's get into her combat abilities. Clarand is categorized as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Dude. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage Ooh. by performing up to five consecutive. I love how she does like the zigzag. During her charged attack, like her uses her pistolet to target <clears throat> enemies in a V shape in front of her. Hmm. Also, Claran has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified of her. I know, right? Man, kind yeah, of adorable. Should... Even the champion <sighs> duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Siege Wing. Oh, what? Though it's probably mm. a meaningful ritual for Clarand, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clarand focus on the opponent in front of her. In fact, Clarand's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how whoa, potent whoa. she can be when she's focused. Ooh. Check this out. During Look at combat, that. Whoa. Only Clarand's elemental skill will cause oh, her to enter the, thing the night Yeah, and it state. heals. During this wow, state, you can actually Clarand use the sword, huh? two different types of special attacks. Okay, so she builds it up and then charges. Swift hunt pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack. Interesting. Huh? 
It looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does so, the skill have any additional effects? Is she gonna Ooh, use the same one as Arlequino? On those eyes, the set? those swift hunt pistol Maybe? attacks increase Clarion's bond of life, and her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will clear the bond of life. And Wait, heal. so she accumulates good the bond with one hand and then clears it with the other? Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, Clarence's special attacks have different life effects depending on the value of her bond of life. So when Ooh. her bond of life is, like, relatively low, her swift hunt pistol attacks have a piercing effect. and they That's deal really, damage. really cool. But when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Wow, oh, okay. Gotcha, I get it. So... <laughs> Cloran is meant to use her pistol aid to accumulate a bond of life and then so use her sword wow, to clear okay. it once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. Bingo. I'm assuming her basic no, attacks do almost no damage Clarence then, if that's the case. Moment. Probably. So when she's in the night vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by Ooh, her lunging just, attack, impale the night, really nice. will be converted into a bond of life. This what? unique talent allows different healing effects to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay. So, healing an experiment with a variety increases of what? combinations. That's true. Cool. Okay. Also, although Man, I kind of wish Alakino could have gotten that. That would have been great. She has never <laughs> yeah, forgotten her identity as a Mara Shose hunter. So, during her elemental burst, last I mean, let Cloran have some. Cloran oh. draws on her Mara Shose hunter hair. That is so sick. An ancient That's skill so that sick. empowers mortals to fight deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AoE electro oh damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Wow, that's so cool. But if that power is designed to fight Dude, monsters, I can watch that over and over. Is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? Yes. <laughs> Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. And she still <laughs> kills the <laughs> people. <Amazing. laughs> also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. Dark Shadow and so, what? When a nearby party sounds like something the fish would have. Related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Mm. Though, no, there so, is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can scaling. gain from this effect. I mean, I expected Cloran that. Cloran also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Cloran can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional oh, resources I mean, eh. on the mini map. So awesome! It's <laughs> nice to have sure characters that can do that. It does feel like a waste of a treasure, talent, though. I wish it was just kind of like a. Of course, we already kind of had Lenny for that, justice. but you know. Not necessarily in I, that order. I prefer. So 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 so. Cloran is usually pretty stern and composed as a champion duelist, but I don't know. I always I just feel bad when it's one of those. Unwise. Well, yeah, because like talents are so crucial to characters' kits and everything. Just kind of feels bad when. It's just kind of a from one. And yeah. making sure to return the favor because she's sweet. Oh, she's such a cool cat. And yeah, yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an active member of the tabletop troop. Like, don't get me wrong, it is convenient. So I just kind of wish they'd add it, like they'd implement it. Like, they'll never do this. But like, sick. I really wish they'd like, if you had Fontaine characters, maybe they can detect things that they can use around you without using a talent. so much. I know, I'm so excited. I love the symbol, by the way, the sword with the lightning. With all of that's, that, that is all that's the information awesome. that I have to share about Cloran. So, next up, let's introduce our adorable little Sijuin. Oh, actually, yeah. very okay, curious. Sorry. Too excited. Just, hold on, hold on. Cloran's gonna be tough demo, competition. First. Yes. Sijuin is adorable, body, though. So you gotta take she care is. Of it. I'm bubblegum. It's just as important to take care of your mind. Elsa, die! <laughs> oh no, they choked on their medicine. Oh, she also created oh, the Oh, she's gonna be good for other characters with that. Cool. She might feel a little prick. M might? Oh. Oh, you can move with that. It's a, it's a giant hydro cannon. It's like Nouvellet, I guess. She's so cute. 
It's unreal. Was she go, very adorable. Will she go Kill good with so this? The bubble has ears Maybe. on it. I would love to ride around on a bubble like that. She's yeah. with her bubble has ears? In what? Oh. Yeah, with the yeah, bubble like gun the and like the giant bunny-ish. syringe. Oh. God, oh, so it's right cute. there. Yeah. <laughs> Those bubbles are so big. Her kit looks really, really fun. <laughs> I know, but, but that's yeah, the but only thing that looks big. That needle is huge. I can see why they might be nervous about getting sick. Oh, for sure. Sometimes you gotta take your medicine. I would start sweating. Since she's the head nurse of the Fortress of Mary. Sejuin wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care health. of your body is the most Bull important crap. goal. But she often encounters feel so much people better who overwork themselves yeah, in sure. the production zone, so she always tries to during it, you're gonna healthy feel... meals. But she doesn't think that's a substitute for some proper rest. Oh, that's what the doctor her, says. Yeah. Don't worry, you like won't remember well this, and, and then you do. If you want to keep up with it's not that you mm-hmm. won't feel a thing. You're for just gonna sure. black she seems this out. She's a caring and attentive person. <laughs> but then, what's she like when she fights? Well, Sejuin is oh. a hydro bow user. Her normal attack yes. unleashes up to three. Really, only a one, two, three. During the second uses her bow for an attack. Sejuin takes out a pill and tosses it at her opponent. I like that she smacks it. She's literally telling her opponents to take. What was that? You like cancel the animation? She can make aimed shots using her charged attack. Once the shot <gasps> is held and fully charged, oh. Sejuin's bow will fire slow-moving mini straight Oh, it just automatically does Dealing hydro damage to her target. Just make sure not to release her arrow. Oh, and also, Sejuin uses a specially made bubble gun to fire a giant bolstering Ooh. bubble bomb during her elemental skill. Rebound Only two orbs, by the way. The projectile bounces between oh, nearby opponents, dealing give hydro herself a damage to life? anyone it touches, and restoring HP to all nearby party members, well, except for Sejuin herself. Sejuin will be healed a certain amount of health when the bolstering bubble bomb disappears, oh. which is based on her max HP. <gasps> Did you see her little wings flapping? Yes. <laughs> so this is another Travelers character that can, can a, a heal the whole party, I think. Would that be great? You can like Baiju like exactly or like Noel. Like <laughs> The mm-hmm. longer you hold her elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Once the projectile wish was another is level released, to it. it will gradually decrease like boy, in size boy, as it bounces around. Yeah, it's like a the tier the three. Bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. That's probably a consolation. And if a large bubble getting? hits a probably. weaker enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa, guys! It's Only for a second, though. In a cage of kindness. So like it, it, you know, you were saying it was going to be a trink dart. It sort of so is, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> kind of. Hey, wait a second. Are those the orbs that Nivellet drops? It looks like Sejuin oh. creates two swords. I, I, so when she fires a they're not giving you three like though. They life. don't want a Nivellet to get a free charge attack. I can't explain that as well. Since she Dude, has training rip. as a nurse, she should be able to make the most time of the dire Time to buff myself, Nuvlet. Her elemental skills. Nuvlet's like those are mine now. Those are mine now. And Sejuin can give her a bond of life right by absorbing them. Almost them. two can get when you almost there. When that bond of life is cleared, Sejuin can regain some elemental uh, actually, energy how long based is on two? the value of the bond of life. Neat. Ah, so Sejuin's healing can nullify her bond of life, and she can restore energy for herself. Nice. That's right. While that also means is hazardous if you're running new blood, please do not steal all the orbs. It's a real you're advantage for Sejuin. After she unlocks her talent, detailed diagnosis, thorough treatment, Sejuin's healing will be increased based Almost. on the total okay, bond it's like of 70% across with all two. the characters in her party. Oh, thank goodness. Sounds she what? like a melusine can make the bond of life a lot less scary. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. okay. After using her elemental burst and absorbing nearby source water droplets, Sejuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. <laughs> this attack deals continuous hydro damage. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's so, so funny. cute. Even her attacks are a form of medical treatment. A huge syringe. Yeah. I mean, hey, she Big. just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right? Sejuin loves every to do that patient much. to get a proper amount dogs? of rest. After I think unlocking her passive talent requires appropriate rest oh, wait, her system. elemental skill will also trigger the semi strict bed rest effect oh. what this effect what will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence when non-active mm-hmm. characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Sejuin can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Mm. Oh, like Farina likes. But, you know, <laughs> not super strict, because she couldn't be super strict. <laughs> Just hmm. a little. Wow, I, so I don't it know, seems man. like the bond of life mechanic is pretty integral to both Sejuin and Claran's kits. <laughs> Scaring me, girl. That sure was a lot of information, though. Oh, yeah. Do the I cute can't wait wing to see flap these abilities thing. in action. And travelers Put needle won't away. just be limited oh, to the play styles that they've seen here, right? As, as I understand oh, it, the and mechanics leave a lot of room for open okay. experimentation. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
And outside of combat, Melazines are very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. What? Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She uh -huh. can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Ooh. Unfortunately, oh. doing so will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances. Wait! Always oh, a price. well... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cool. That seems like a skill that would come in handy, though. Sijuin is so always you get out infinite healing, Ooh, but you are nurse. a glass cannon. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, That's and weird. I got a quick question for you all. Yes. Have you noticed any differences between Sijuin and other Melazines? No. Oh. Absolutely nothing. Barely a thing. I crazy. Mm -hmm. Like if you ignore the tail and the feelers on her head, then she actually doesn't look that different from a human child, right? How could you ignore them? I mean, don't forget right. the wings. Well, sure and fair. <laughs> but also, she's interested in beauty. And she knows a lot about skincare, and she actually even contributes to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine. Did she does? That. Oh, 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 and her medical knowledge. Skincare. Right? We haven't encountered any other Melusines who give medical treatment to humans. Off topic, uh, but I just realized if Dainsley ever becomes playable, we can play a Spider Man. And she's also Spider -Man. one of the few Melusines who work in the fortress. I of never therapy, right? got and that. Generally speaking, not many people are willing to treat criminals. I mean, not even a Melusine's open mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mmm. Mmm. Damn. I I'm not going to assume. Points. Don't you think that Sijuin's differences from the other Melazines make her seem more unique and approachable at the same time? Yeah, she has fingers. In the fingers. Chapter, I, not yeah. Will have the multiple story quests. More about the background Crap, of this there's going to be a ton. Yep. In her so there's, and we, we're also quest. getting an Archon Ooh. quest. Oh, mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hey, speaking of story quests, didn't travelers meet a mysterious youngster last we, version? We no. did. Sometime well, during that just came out, yeah. story quest? Mm -hmm. Well, travelers will now have yeah. the opportunity oh! to add him to their party. I'm awake! Wake up, Daniel! I'm so awake! And he's eager to travel around. I have so many hours so, of sleep. Zach, why don't you introduce Three to be exact. Oh, me? So uh, many okay, hours. Then, let's take a look at Sethos' demo. Let's go. If you're always asking why. Okay, but, um, thinking yourself into while we're watching this, I kind of a book. No, nope, that's canteen. I want to point out this. Is is Siege Rain a good pull if you are someone who is not yes, running, like, Bond of Life characters? Like, how is that going to work? I don't know. That looks so cool. Uh, like, because Bond of Life, unless they plan on carrying that over the Notlon, isn't that kind of a gimmick? Maybe future characters will have it? Yeah, maybe future Fontaine characters? Dude, this kid actually looks pretty sweet. Oh. It does. Oh, wow. His design is so cool. I was kind of he hoping he'd get a bit more yeah, animalistic stuff in his kit, it, though. Right? So it seems like they didn't do the Sino thing. Power and wisdom from nah, his, his, his thing isn't quite Sino. He's also talented in archery. Because it's like, you know, it's set. I was kind of like, he has a maybe we get something set related. Exploring the desert no. or the rainforest, no. oh, yeah. he knows the roads <laughs> like the back of his hand. And he always knows where Giant to find the crocodile. best regional no. specialties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably know where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the location of Sumero regional so specialties though, right? on the mini-map. Nice. Cool. Yeah, Wait, so I think, I'm curious. Right? He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life Something. and carries also the weight of such an ancient away. legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either be like really introverted or just super arrogant. But I think Sethos like could have been a five-star, yeah, you're honestly. absolutely right. Essentially. Sethos is a very open-minded and cheerful person. I As love the, the design. to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. Hmm. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind, and he tries to be optimistic. Oh. In fact, his personality is a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that Dang. sounds like... Uh, are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> I like him even more now. I guess. What? <laughs> he's a pretty busy guy, and he lives a pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> And he's around the same age as the general Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally visits the academia. He's always trying to make friends in Sumeru City, and he enjoys browsing goods at the Grand Bazaar. Where has he been? But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. On vacation. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. I'm stuck in yes. the sand somewhere. Sethos's aim shot has a special variant when charged to level two. Ooh. He can't move when his attack is charged Dude? to its second level, but it allows him Dude? to fire a powerful shadow piercing Oof. shot I assume that can his pierce scale enemies, will dealing electro damage to, charge to the targets faster? in its path. Or consolation. Sethos's talent, Black Kite's Enigma, can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming oh. elemental energy. Oh. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. Wait, can yeah. you run also, the Yoimiya Yo Yo set a really off? long time to charge? 
So I think that means players need but to store elemental alt. energy to fire the shadow piercing shot faster, right? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yeah, yes, he is. You're right on. Hey. That's why I didn't Seth think about that. You're correct. Skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Oh! It's an ancient ritual that deals AOE electro damage, and it also restores <laughs> elemental energy <laughs> whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, so anything, aggravate, or hyper bloom reaction. Ooh, Interesting. But travelers also have another option for firing powerful shots. By unleashing his elemental burst, Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. He will enter the Twilight uh -huh. Meditation the, you know, State, converting his normal attacks to enemy piercing. The only tricky thing about him being a four star. Well, he's main mastery. DPS in his own field. That's cool. that you could run like him and Fischl together, because Fischl is really freaking good <laughs> right now. Okay, also it seems oh, the like the doesn't last King that long. No, it doesn't. Abilities, so, uh, I feel like ever since Dendro came out, like, just officials thrive. Rituals and techniques. Of course! Yo. I'm sure that the Temple of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. One of his other talents what? will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow-piercing shot for a period of time based mm. on his elemental mastery. Okay, all right. Ooh. Sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So would you rather Many burst individual. or just do a bunch of charge shots? definitely a talented fighter who can make full use I of his martial know. heritage. He's similar to Kalorand in that sense. Yeah. I wonder why oh, we wow. better. We because you either want to just shoot charge shots or nice. save for your ultimate and the next not spend one's gonna any. Be. Let's get it. Maybe, yeah. Oh. It looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets in our next mission. Ooh. Spicy. Why, why are all you guys looking at me? <laughs> well, I mean, secrets are kind of your area of expertise. Mm -hmm. Come on, explain mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Sure Spider-Man, reveal you your secrets. J. Yeah, oh, Jonah, Jonah Jameson comes okay. in. Well, I guess I'm the I'd only one for who can shit some Dude, I would, I would, oh, I would wail <laughs> for a JJJ <laughs> character. Cross Genshin. character. Super buff. He's got, he's got like the overalls on. You know, if the, if the commander from Mondstadt is voiced by Joe Jane, Jane, Flip, JJJ, Triple J, take my money. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Also, I, you know, Actually, we know we already heard it. We've heard it. It's not for this patch, you guys. Oh my gosh, words come out of your mouth. What were they saying? Yeah. I wasn't listening. Oh yeah, it's this a bad time, time and story. Will get to meet face to face, Ooh. and based on what we heard in the trailer, it seems like the loom of fate is now complete. So travelers what? can look forward to I, learning yeah. more about Kari Crap. in this. Crap! Uh, we can't let, just can't reveal everything right Dude, now. Do you think oh, they're gonna reveal some secrets. Kaya stuff? For me, Dentro. these are important secrets that travelers should uncover for themselves. Oh, okay, okay. We can call off the snipers. Call off the snipers. Right? Look, look, I, look, I know, <laughs> I get, get it that, that everyone can barely contain their excitement. So, I will throw you a bone to help tie you problem? over until the next update. I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. What? What is it? I like surprises. surprises. What? Is, it is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh, but you first, absolute first, 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 we need to introduce the event wishes. <gasps> okay. We can demo as so, him. Okay. In the first phase of version 4.7, Chlorand and Alhatham will be featured in the event wishes. Okay, here's the moment of yeah. truth. Is Farina will be the new is Farina with unit that appears on this event wish banner. Mm -hmm. and That's a good in banner. The second phase of Dang. the version, travelers can look forward to it. It was real! Sijuin it was real. The rumors that Farina would come back because is there's never enough. A new five star sword, oh. Absolution, and a new five star Gorgeous. bow, Silver Shower Heartstrings. Both very cute. Also be Those are great. The, respective weapon the only it's problem. I'm not going through a weapon banner. So yeah, I was about to good, say, right? I don't know if I'd no, want right. the Siege okay. bow okay. I've made wait with long Farina's weapon, Let's though. The surprise. Yes, I hope everyone finally. enjoys it. Let's, Let's go. go. Surprise? I like surprises. You know, Chloran with. Ooh. This is a surprise. This is the surprise. Oh, the anime! <laughs> the anime. Ooh. Oh snap! Oh, there's mint. There's mint! <laughs> okay, Lumine. Hello. Dude. Hey, Aether? Sir. Yeah. Dude, this looks so pretty. It's very gorgeous. UFO table coming in hot. Wow! Oh, interesting! Mm -hmm. 
So who's gonna be our main protagonist? Yeah, who's the main character? Or are we gonna follow them both on their own separate journeys? I'm turning this up. Okay, Aether's no. our main character. Aether's the main, yeah. Dude! Fun detail of, um... Ooh! Even the song gives me... Nice. Wow! Wow! Oh, that... She's looking a little depressed. I am so here for this! Leave my blood! Aww. Ooh. Dang. You're looking kind of disheveled. Know that I will always try. Oh, though the night's long and dark, I see. If this is the quality, I am speechless. If come with me this fall, show in the way. Oh, crap, it's that area. I see. How much are we covering? Oh, seeing them together. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm not ready for this. And of course they're doing it with the um the continuation of the Archon quest. Mm-hmm. Uh helping braid his hair. Aw. So that's how he braids his hair. He gets someone else to do it. I've always wondered. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Dude, I was not prepared for this. No matter where you go, I've come with you this far. Whoa. Oh, I thought she had oh. like a different outfit on for a moment. Oh, I was kind of excited. I'm not ready for this anime. I love the stars. Nice. Oh my goodness! Date? Release date? Nope. Just Nothing? Ah! No! Mm. Oh! Okay, that, yeah. That looks pretty good. That looks so, dude, Monstead! And the details and every, oh! I really like the, um, the details of everything being nice and pristine when she was walking around the ruins, but everything was like ruined and destroyed when he was walking through it. Yeah, Aether, like some, a lot of time had passed and everything. I Even though the like, main cities apparently have not changed at, at all. At all, it's fine. It's but fine. outside the main cities, man, things have changed a lot. A lot. <laughs> Thank oh. goodness in the last few thousand years, these cities have been spotless. I wonder, I wonder if the anime will look like that. Will it be that quality? If it is that quality, that is insane. Mm hmm Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, what were we talking about? The whole thing? Oh, uh, weapon banner. Um, I think the first weapon banner is pretty nice for Cloran's weapon and Al Haytham's weapon. Those are, that's pretty sick. That's a pretty decent weapon banner. I just don't think I'll hate them and Cloran go together? No, I don't think they go together whatsoever. Nor Which, do I think that they go super well together with the four star. Unless yeah, he gives some kind of team buff. That is weird, actually, that you point that out. Sethos, I'll hate them, and Cloran are all main DPS characters. None of them really work off of each other. That's weird. I wonder what the other two four stars will be on banner. Where Probably at least, a Dendro um, of sorts? Where at least the... Oh, Yao Yao. Probably. Probably. Um, but where uh, Farina and um, Needle Girl instantly forgot. Siege Wing? Siege Wing. At least they semi work off each other. Yeah, I think. I don't know about the bow, though. I don't know if the weapon banner will be good. It really is going to depend on how good that bow is. I mean, if you don't have Festering Desires, it'd be pretty worth it. Well, because you're going for the sword, but what if you get the bow? I know, but if you're going for Siegeweed's weapon and you happen to get Farina's. Oh, yeah, no, if you're going for, like, the whole kit of Siegeweed, I think that's a great banner, then. Welcome back, travelers. Hey. Ooh, thank you. Hey, hey. I think it's about time we if you're introduce going for Farina's this weapon, I don't know. Ooh, yes, we yes, claim one. So Wait, what? <laughs> you sound ready. Oh, snap. Oh, a uh, freaking... The location of this challenge seems pretty intriguing. I thought you were talking about uh, like an event. Claim more. I'm so tired. My eyes. Within the There's some water. I can't see. And oh, no. they've received an invitation to participate in a mysterious <gasps> performance. Oh, I love secret Is this supposed to be the coven? I've always wanted one. 
So that's right. The, the what? All new event, the freaking uh, the, the, uh, the mages? Available in version 4.7. Oh, the, the witches? Adventure rank yeah, is this? No, remember nice. we already went to their Wait, tea so place. No, I know, but is this like another one? Mm -hmm. Wow. The coolest mm -hmm. library. I know, it looks a lot different <laughs> from what I imagined. It's huge. Yeah, it kind of looks more like a magic castle. Mm. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wolf! Well, who are you? Is that the boar princess? Never mind, this is really the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. I know, he's so cute. Wolfie. He'll reveal also, can we play as the more princess? That's a pretty mage, great design. And that he's also, you are adorable and you are going to take the stage. He is also a poet. Ah! <laughs> that guest he's a poet. will hopefully put on a magnificent performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bring on that main character energy. Okay, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium that art Theater is so Challenge. Cute. Wow, that was fast. Wait, uh, this is an event? Is it? Oh, like a full you. event Imaginary story on top of everything else? A series yep. of combat challenges with well, I mean, also mostly conditions. combat. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. So travelers will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. Oh, no. Oh, I get it. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh huh. Good thinking, but you won't have Dude, to. Dude, all the about art that. is so cute. Because first off, six characters will be designated as the initial lineup for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Noise. And travelers can also invite special guest characters to participate in the challenges that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition. Travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their friends. They can also select their friends Ooh. supporting characters to join their own team. That's a nice way to get to try new characters. Right? Friend, friends. Friends. Who who would say no friends to more friends? Friends support each other in <laughs> staged combat. Friends helping each other. And I during like the, the current point. challenge period, <laughs> Those six designated characters who the make the initial princess, lineup that will gain nice. fantastical blessings. This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes! Wow. You're kidding. Wait, okay, the mage behind the theater must be super powerful. Oh, super powerful. And I know that everyone's <laughs> probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters uh -huh. just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating. You know, in I wonder if we're gonna get a um, challenges. So when a character, I, I wonder if one of the mages is gonna be playable next patch no or something. Fight. Are they Don't teasing that? Place them with a new character for like the mid part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, I, I cannot it. wait to so see who's playable next patch. You have to oh, pay attention to that how is well they such a together, sick yes. burst. And also Wonderful. how well they can fill in for each other. Exactly. Interesting. They're running with Kuki. That, not all that is a team right there. Appear in your team. That is a really characters can only be wild team. Through the story. They can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium Theater battle, or when I you don't know if I would have run that team. Are cool. Oh! So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. But let me explain a little more about the special events. Look that at I her! Travelers can choose to spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now, some events will unlock certain characters for battle, <laughs> and others may trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. so, is it like a fox? So, travelers wolf girl? will have to what choose is very it? carefully. The one on the left? Oh, it's yeah, she's the boar right? princess. That's the boar princess? <laughs> yeah, she's got a little boar horns. Like little ears, too? Mm -hmm. by completing oh, that's adorable. And finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, imagine new playable character, the Boar Princess. Next badge, take my money. <laughs> Daniel would be like, I'm particularly there. Particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. And that's not oh, all, right? <laughs> Why is this not permanent? Also obtain then? toy medals during this event, Maybe this is which permanent. they can exchange with Wolfie the Concierge. Aww. In return, travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Yeah. They, I heard there were rumors of a permanent mode. This is a new permanent mode cool then. Pictures. Nice. I am excited to see new poses. So hyped. Mm, me too. That's pretty swanky. And that's also, pretty cool. Poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. And finally, each performance in the Imaginarium Theater has several difficulty levels, and each okay, one so has they a add on to it over time. Higher difficulty levels will yield. It makes sense rewards. that it's based on the Bring mages. It then it's a As permanent mode. the concierge mm -hmm. likes to say, "When the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it." How can Aww, he be so that's cute? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know. It's very that adorable. It still didn't make him as cute as he actually is. Of course, it'll take time for travelers to raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. 
and I'm sure mm -hmm. travelers are always looking for ways to get freak? more primo Is that even going to work? Always. You just said the magic word. Oh. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Money. <laughs> Each month, Imaginarium Theater will alternate with updates with the Spiral Abyss. In addition, the total so it's gonna, that yeah, it's gonna from the Spiral Abyss has been increased from 600 Primo Gems to 800 Primo Gems. Whoa! Nice. Yes! Yeah. More Whoa. information will be available across nice. Genshin That's Impact's like official social That's media accounts, so it is. keep a lookout. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Ooh, the background is changing. Ooh, here we go. Let's see what else Ooh. this version has in store. Yes, please. New bow, oh, new, and, and catalyst. Oh, sorry, but that artwork oh. actually is super sick. I see some sick. hilly churls and ruin guards, so I'm assuming this is one of those monster fighting events. Wait, Ooh. yes, sort of. What? Travelers won't be <laughs> Never, No, sorry, not a catalyst. Instead, That's an ascension material. They'll be able to command yeah, monsters material. to fight in a cooperative simulation. Ooh. The Millilith will be hosting a strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding of security needs throughout Devat. They'll be accompanied by representatives from Mondstadt's Knights of Favonius. Is it going to be a um, Yashiro fully voice acted Sumeru's quest? Of 30, and this is so Special much. Patrol. Their joint exercise well, like is intended to improve smaller. military tactics across the continent. Sir, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. <laughs> that, that was my official voice. Uh, you know, I'm just doing it. Spider Man's official voice. As I was saying, yeah. you can play two it's different kinds of Usually the voice he mocks the, the police Assault with. scenarios yeah. and defense usually. scenarios. As special representatives to the simulation, travelers will need to analyze enemy formations mm. and deploy the best units for completing the challenge. In assault Whoa. scenarios, you only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. Is it TFT? So once the scenario begins, <laughs> you will me automatically impressed. start attacking your opponent. So sit back. Is it going to be like battle chess? I don't know if you can relax when these things are coming at you. Auto chess? What is that called? Clearly not. Auto chess? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm going to give yeah, this looks a try. Like it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do it. Oh, How oh I like this. How come archers got wiped out so quickly? Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> you sorry. know. <laughs> I know, I know. So you uh, place them here. down. We can, we can fix it now. Some types of combat units are more effective against others. Ranged units like hilly churl archers are vulnerable to melee units like minus Interesting, trolls. so this Don't is like the, um, you can turn a bad situation the turret event, you the best but units it's opposite. The on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. This just actually the is units. more like, uh, um, just, just choose the best just units. Just yeah, that the one <laughs> mobile or, game. No, orcs, no. Um, orcs? I, I was thinking orcs must die or whatever the freak that one game is. With all you have to put the people down. beacons, which can then be used to deploy no, that's not additional that game. combat that units called? and frontline structures. As the unit's commander, travelers can What's use the their What's the game that you have to set your units up and your traps up? Conditions for their team. And if they're successful, I mean, yeah, that's also works in the sky. Oh, is that? Okay. From the mutual security enhancing simulation yeah, event. Go so get him, get him, get him, slides. Oh, Electro versus Pyro. Oh, boy. A crown of insight. <laughs> A four-star bow, cloud oh. forged. Oh, yes, no, that's not okay. forged. Okay, their their excited and voices were adorable. Up, we're introducing another combat-related event, endless forms, most martial. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this one is going to test some different skills. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, travelers only got to simulate combat, but the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why mm -hmm. it's important to come up with combat tactics on the fly and take advantage of battlefield conditions. So, in Endless Forms Most Martial, By that you mean have equip to a character and instantly melt everything. special rules of Ooh. each stage. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected by the electrocharged condition. And that okay, you is have the to only make a way to accumulate team. progress towards the challenge goal. Now, once they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn. Oh, you instantly rewards. kill everything. I'm appreciating all these rewards. Yes. Kokomi the and Raiden are going to love mm. that one. So this is one of those challenges that requires a, you to strategize. I wonder if they're going to tease Indeed. the new region at the end of this. Oh, okay. Possibly. Are we going to get a not long because teaser? Because we're getting our interlude quest. Uh, I've gotten a report about it may be next patch, though. They may make us wait for next patch. Or a next live stream. They may drop. I like that news. It must have come from that crocodile shaped cannon. Oh, yeah. This thing it, again. That thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoot. This cannon was modified by a Fontanian engineer. Oh. It's now just a toy cannon that you Fun can design. use to fire hydro bullets. So 
Why not have some fun with it? Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not indeed? If that's so, the this case, is like the thing from the uh, will need to allocate energy fair. to the cannon and choose the correct Bro, firing I would to destroy be... as many target balls as possible within the time limit. They'll even be rewarded Bush. for their trouble. Was Bush. there ever a doubt? Mm -hmm. well, In order to keep the event interesting, special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. So as they long as you hit, it doesn't Different effects when they are destroyed. So. Be what? sure to check it out for yourselves in the new update. Cool. You guys, that's that's my kind of yeah, old school arcade game. I'm really I'm an old school. No, oh, I'm just old. Anyway. Next event <laughs> takes place in the land of Mondstadt. Travelers that's will cute encounter looking. a familiar. I love all the artwork they have for this. recently mm -hmm. completed a new script. Artists are eating well now. Will be able to embark on a so a good day when artists are paid. <laughs> yeah, right. and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to mysterious Ooh, locales, be great for this. where they will have the opportunity to earn rewards. Okay, now just just is, walk and get the coins. <laughs> just get the coins. Oh. Bullet curtain assaults from <laughs> you know, various mechanisms and collect enough labyrinth coins. No big deal. You can do it. Easy peasy. Wicked warlocks will also be scattered across the field. Ooh, alliteration. I like it. What? If you defeat Not the them, wicked warlocks. Then you can earn even more coins. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. You illiterate no. swine. But hey, don't worry. Travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. Oh, I so dig. these uh -oh. buffs will make the oncoming well. bullets a lot easier to deal with. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily you if you're smart about how you use them. That I... sounds great. So great. Speaking of strategy, how do you even dodge that without the? the... Oh, whoa! Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster <laughs> the cards, win. and action Farina. cards. Also, more NPCs will be ready to challenge Yo, Rise travelers and Farina in the looking open world. Swanky. I'll hate them actually getting a goose. card. No, I'll hate them. Kave. I know what I'm saying. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will also return in the new version, so don't miss out. Whew, that was a lot of information. As it usually does. I think it almost always does. We take a look at the last redemption code. See you soon. Dude, okay, so the question is, oh! So cute, I love all the artwork, it's so good. <laughs> Give me that cat. Give me that cat. Ah. What was I gonna say? I've forgotten. Uh, so, right, are we gonna see Notlon? Moment of truth. That's here. the moment of truth. Notlon reveal, or uh, probably like concept art teases? Strength. Probably, probably only concept art. Power. Let's get an idea. Come Fading on. Fading fast, please. I'm assuming we'll get concept art now, and the next patch we'll actually see it. Or next live stream, we'll actually get like video. Mm -hmm. That's how they, they. That's how they've done it in the past, right? Pretty sure. Daniel, stay with me, man. I, stay with me. I, I feel so sick, but I'm here. <laughs> you got this. Ah! You got this. You and me have the same amount of sleep. If I can do it, you can do it. Yes, yeah. power. Mm -hmm. Don't puke on me. If you have to puke, that direction. But we share our burdens. <laughs> no! No! I mean, yes, but no! Heck no. You said yeah. I, from the deep philosophical point, but not the physical point. Not the throw up category. That's not Look at being, that cute cat. No. Don't try to be weird and then change the subject on me. Weird? Also, I like how the wolf is definitely pom pom. Yes, it is. It's got the whole pom pom vibe. Is it even the, the same one. animation style? It's like. I think the waddling is. The waddle similar. is based on it, yeah. If not just taken from it. I wonder if pom pom's based on anything. I actually don't know. I mean, stuffed rabbits. So, Smart Alec. Thank you. <laughs> I see. You, I'd rather be Lack smart. of sleep Daniel is a little spicy and everything. I feel spicy. I will I will admit that was a good response though. Good response. And we're back. Welcome back everybody. Oh, we're back. We're back. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the version 4.7 special program. Yes. Looks mm -hmm. like we completed this domain challenge. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reward? Very, very the now it's time to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. Oh, yes, please. That's good to hear. First up, the encounter point system for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Hopefully, this helps travelers level up more quickly. Nice. Was and now for some really exciting news. Travelers Max Dressen will be increased from oh. 160 to 200. 
Nice. Two? Uh, not 240? Not 240, but uh, it's something. Some we'll take it. Optimizations. Be sure to check I will take those 40 game. extra stamina points. Or resin points. I'll take the one extra boss. All right, that looks like all the information we have to share today. Well, Bye, I mean, that's what? something. What? <laughs> Could it not have been, I'm just kidding. I'm Could just not kidding. have been too far? Hey, hey, man, it was a, it's a bone. It's, a, it's, a, it's half a bone. To, to talk about your time. Damn, so, you sound program. pathetic. It's <laughs> like, I, I will take my... <laughs> I'm just... I'm my so my half a bone, my half a bone, and, and I will eat it with a smile on my face. That's so, so sad. So sad. Yes. But thank you, you I guess. I, I do want to be appreciative. Thank you. <laughs> Take it. Oh my god. Very like, cute. Thank you very much. Yeah, same here. Dude, I want Sage Rain to come back from more live streams. The cast. I'm she so was great. That I like all of them, but I hope everyone the VA fun, for Sage Rain uh, is kind like of like chaotic gremlin energy, her. and I love it. Uh, and also, mm -hmm. I, I'm really excited for these combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I, I've been playing this game, and my favorite thing is beating things up in this world. <laughs> yeah. No, me too. <laughs> same. I these monsters. Same. Especially when you're high level and you finally take revenge on all those is a, is a man of mystery. Uh, this game, uh, so much of it is a mystery to me, and you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. And Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> so, Yuri's playing? probably oh, so sick and tired of being referred to Spider-Man, but it's true. Like, He's so it, mysterious, it, dark, yeah, and Spider-Man. It's been absolutely awesome doing this with you guys. I'm so I feel like any voice actor who's done Spider-Man kind of gets pegged with, it's Spider-Man! Because all of them growing up, all the different voice actors have done Spider-Man. They're Spider-Man. New yeah. voice lines. Oh, He's snap. More. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Not well, long teaser? Come on, guys. not long. And see y'all in game. Bye -bye. See y'all in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Wait, no teaser? Wait, how many patches? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Wait, what is this? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Actual gameplay. I, oh, they're what? so cute! It's like a mole dragon! Oh, going up. Dude, can we get a playable one? Yes! Wait, we wait. are the mole we dragon! We are the mole dragon! And There's gonna be different also ones! also the fish? This wait, I'm sorry, is this even getting This is not one, I think! Looks like it! Dude, we can travel as little dragon babies! Is this Genshin? Yeah, I think! There's different elements! Oh, it's so cute! Is it Pokemon? Are we getting Pokemon or... What? It's the Sumeru thing! So it's all the things combined! We can swim, we can fly? Tell me we can fly! That looks not pretty sick! Not one looks great! Why'd you go not Lon? I Because! And it was not Lon! I, w I want to go back to this. I want to go back and I want to see this. I just want to see. I just want to see. You are adorable, but I was I was focusing on the dragon. I was focusing on this guy. I didn't. This area. Sick. That. Yeah. That's cool. And you did. How did they would show anything? I well, they were kind of just ending, and I was like, "Oh dang!" And we're gonna. I was like, "Crap! Are we gonna have like two or three more patches?" Don't know. Actually, wait. Go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah, go for it. Uh, go for it. Actually, I'll just do this. I, I like how that was the big Notlon reveal, and I was staring at a flying dragon, thinking, "Are we gonna fly?" Didn't even think to like look at the actual like you know surrounding. We have more than just those three things we can turn into. Okay, uh, so there's the mole, mole dragon up top. There's the mole dragon. There's the fox fish thing, and then there's the. Fish. the uh, wait, which fox. one? Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so that's the green those one. Three. So the, uh, every element's getting something. Okay, so there's actually it does look like there may be a flying thing. Dude, we can fly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is really sick. I like this. Well, how? What is the canon reason that we can do this? Um, the canon reason is uh, don't question it, just accept it. I guess. So, is this? I'm assuming this will be only for Notlon, though. Most because it will probably if we got like flying or something to other areas, I feel like that would just break the game. So I feel like if we turn into mole people in any other point of the game, I think it may break things. <laughs> yes, mole, mole.
mole dragon for the win. So the mole dragon is Geo, Fox's Dendro, swimming is Hydro, fire will be. Well, I mean, flying? you also can slim, uh, slim. You can also swim through uh, lava, lava, lava. Right? Maybe that's the fire. Oh, or they not. didn't show that. So maybe instead of mm. elements, these are just the critters. So what are the other things? I wonder. Actually, no, it does look like they're the elements because they glow the element. But they're, they're saying, like, we're only getting showcase of these three, so... Yeah, we're, we are only getting a showcase. Look, those are the ones they showcase. Oh, okay, off. so the mole thing just can go into lava. Or or maybe the the f fishy one. I don't know. One of them can do it. What? The, the swimming through lava. Yeah, I know. The fish one does but that. Well, it's just... Isn't that weird to think about? Like, a hydro dragon's gonna be in lava? Well, you're not a dragon. Oh, are you right. Dragons? Are these... Would you Nalan's consider it a mole thing, a dragon? Well, Nalan's the place of dragons. I'm assuming these are dragons, right? These are funky dragons. <laughs> can our can our next playable dragon be a mole dragon? <laughs> Just I mean, yes, apparently. <laughs> yeah, wait. So there's this hydro guy. Oh, he's got his butts on fire though. So he's he got. Go through lava. Okay, so the he's got capabilities of going to fire, even though my brain is like, how are you doing that? And this one is just cuteness. Very cute. I love it. I don't know what the other ones will be. I wonder. I don't know. I'm excited. Well, there's one. I, I dude, tell me we get the fly. That'd be really fun if we can. It would be amazing. I feel like I'm the, gonna pass out. The only problem about flying, though, is when it can kind of like defeat the purpose of the mole dragon and whatnot. <laughs> like. Don't worry about it. I, I really want to fly, but then I feel like the mole dragon would not be as important in everything. So maybe we won't fly. I don't know. I don't. Don't get your hopes too high, I think. I think, like, go in with low expectations on flying and be surprised if we get it. Mm -hmm. I would say that's, that's accurate. Dang! Okay, so the next patch looks like a lot of fun. It does. Ugh. Uh, characters look great. So I think we're losing Daniel here. So characters look great. Mm -hmm. Story quests look amazing. Events look fun. Not long. Looks freaking great. Mm -hmm. I am so down for this. I am so hyped for this. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you thought of this live stream. Uh, I'm super excited mm -hmm. to just kind of explore everything and do everything. There's a lot. And also on top of this, so this probably, this patch will go live probably like in a week or two. And I just want to actually give a heads up. Daniel and I will probably not be able to tackle it right away. We're going to be traveling around that time. We're going to be gone for about two weeks. Most uh, likely. And then we are leaving like next Monday or Tuesday. And we're going to be gone for, I think, somewhere around a week or two. So don't, so reaction videos, stuff like that are, we're going to tackle all of that when we get back because we're not going to have like a traveling setup. We're going to be recording a lot of things while traveling. I don't know if that'll be a video or not. But, but you'll also probably most likely still see some videos go up while we're gone. Yeah, because I'm assuming some trailers and stuff will drop late nights and everything, and we're not going to be able to record. We're going to tackle that all when we get back. And uh, so you'll probably see like a big hodgepodge of stuff come out uh, in a few weeks. So if anything comes up in the next, like, give or take like three weeks, just expect us to be maybe a little late to that and everything. However, I'm super mm -hmm. excited for everything coming out. So expect that, guys. And uh, with that, we love you all. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.